I think one of the biggest challenges for a company these days is, is how to hold on to the incredible amounts of knowledge that, that we build up here. Um, not everything, of course, we do in our work is documented. I guess that would be impossible. Um, so what happens when, for instance, a key member of staff retires uh, or moves to another company? Uh, do we simply accept the risk and hire someone with the equivalent knowledge and experience or do we try and anticipate that moment uh, with our risk-based thinking, if you like, and come up with more ways of sharing knowledge at work? Let's see if we can think of some now. Um, so if we put K in the middle for knowledge, how do we share it at work? Well, I suppose one thing we could do um, is hold workshops. Um, you know, might be lunchtime learning things where we get a bit of food in and uh, we share things. Maybe people could take it in turns around the business. Um, I've experienced some of those. They're, they can be quite fun and people tend to be happy to give up their lunches if they, they get a, a lunch thrown in. Um, we've got things uh, maybe like a library, an information library. Um, maybe if you've got an interactive um, network or portal where people can, can search and find things, of course there is Google, but we might want to tailor something uh, within our companies. Um, there's more traditional training, uh, of course, and again making maybe use of internal resource. People, there's, or every company has its own set of subject matter experts, uh, or of course, you know, bringing external people in at appropriate times. Um, what else can we do? Um, I came across this thing, I don't know if you've heard a sort of job swap thing or a role swap um, where people from different sides of, um, of the business maybe swap over for a day um, and then um, they can learn about each other's work and maybe that could help in the preservation of this important knowledge. So it's just a few ideas. I think another great um, tool for this, if you like, is internal auditing. Because when internal auditors go around, they tend to learn more about the organization and can become very useful in, in sharing one great idea with the top management so that they can then plant that idea in another area of the business. So organizational knowledge is something that's discussed in 9001. And um, I guess that's what it's about, finding out what's the knowledge we need to run our successful business and how are we going to maintain it.